Hello, my friends. Now, I said that we would share more about the reasons we're going back to the mainland. And this is oddly one of the primary reasons, and yet it's one of the most difficult ones to explain because it doesn't have a, a purely rational kind of explainable basis, at least not in our language. So I'm going to share a, a French word that I hope I get the pronunciation correct with, and I'm going to share this crazy experience that happened for me. I'll start with the experience. And as you know, part of what we're doing here, our little place is on a, some land that there's a bed and breakfast on. And the other day, I was up at the bed and breakfast proper and I had to get some ice for somebody. I reached in, my fingers touched the ice and I couldn't take my hand away. The, the sensation of the cold on my fingers was like mana from heaven. <laughs> I mentioned to some of you, it's been almost impossible to find cold here. There's, the ocean is warm, the air is warm. Sometimes you can kind of find lukewarmishness. Even the tap water is warm, lukewarm. But this ice, it was cold. And I, my fingers just lingered there, feeling that raw sensation. And I was taken to the snow and the feeling of my hands in the snow or my bare feet in the snow or even laying back in the snow. And so I, I soaked that feeling in. And that launched me on the thought for this video. Now I'll throw in that word, and again, I hope I'm pronouncing it correct, terroir. Tell me if I'm doing that all right, especially those of you from France. This is usually used, I mean, I heard it in, in use with wines. And the concept is that you might have the same species of grape, but it is grown in a different soil, you know, a different location, and the, the aspects of that location, the different elements of that location, add up to a very different grape than the same species of grape grown in a different place. Here in Hawaii, there's Kona coffee. It's the same species as coffee grown in other places, but because it's grown in this volcanic soil up at a certain altitude, it has different properties. So the elements of a place, the essence of a place. This, I think, can apply to humans as well. And it's certainly what I felt when my hand touched the ice and I was transported for a moment into the terroir, if you will, the essence of place that I am so familiar with in Wisconsin and Minnesota. What's been, I mean, there's been many, many reasons that will, I think, unfold over many videos of, of why we've decided to the way we put it, to go home. And we're using that language. <coughs> and we're using that language because Hawaii has not felt like home to us. In fact, what happened is that we found a sense of home in the people we're with, mostly with our family, which has come closer than it's ever been before, but also with other people that we met here who have become very, very good friends. That is what we think of as our sense of true home. And yet, we're still using those, that word for a place, for a essence of place that we haven't found here. Now, I'm convinced that we humans can probably adapt to any essence of place. That it's possible for me to go to the tropics and with the proper positive mindset to really sink into what this place is and start to think of it as home. 
but I'm just not there yet, discipline-wise or spiritual-wise or whatever you want to call it. And I find myself longing for that essence of place that we knew back in Wisconsin. And I think this essence of place, maybe it comes from our ancestry in some ways. Uh, I'm from mid to northern Europe. Rebecca comes from, you know, her ancestors are from Norway. And so there is a, perhaps built into our, our genetic memory, is this feeling of home that's connected with the change of the seasons. Those icy winds that blow across the winter landscapes that to other eyes can look desolate and foreboding. There are maybe just what we grew up with. Wisconsin, Minnesota, they have scents, smells that harken back to childhood memories. It's been funny here because at Christmas there's been some wreaths and some Christmas trees that people have imported. And when I've walked by one of those and I can smell the smell of balsam fir, it brings me back to those north woods. There's tastes, there's flavors of, of mushrooms, of plants, of that sparkling water from a stream. There are sounds, the familiar sounds of bird calls. I was just filming for a birder friend, the sound of the cardinals here. It was really neat to come here and have cardinals, which we have in Wisconsin but they seem to speak a different dialect. Their song is different. So I think probably a lot of you can really understand this. When we go out into a place, we start to communicate with the essence of that place, sensorily. So our senses take in the sights, the sounds, the textures. I mean, even the ground here feels qualitatively different than the the ground I'm used to in, in Wisconsin. The deep, dark, rich, loamy soil of the forest that has a feeling, a smell, a whole gamut of sensory experience that comes in through that, that is very different, not better or worse, but different than what is here. Now qualify that better or worse by saying, for us, it feels better in Wisconsin, Minnesota. So, whether it is just childhood memories or it's something ancestral, there is an essence of place. I think in further videos, I'm gonna to speak to this in even deeper terms, but I would love to hear from you if you understand what I'm talking about, which I think you all do, because you may be a hunter and you go out in those early, early mornings in the autumn and there's a whole sensory landscape that you integrate into you. And when you're in that place, that essence of place, it might be one of the best feelings in your life, a sense of utter peace and quietude. I mean, I often talk to hunters who say, I don't even really care if a deer comes along. I'm just out there to be out in the wilderness. You may be a birder, you may be a hiker, you might just love sitting out in your backyard and there's the familiar sounds and scents of your essence of place. For me, I'm wrestling with how this integrates with a sense of adventure. Because believe it or not, I have kind of a homebody side to me and, and so does Rebecca. And it's something that we're trying to really transform with our children because we want them to experience a lot of the world, to meet diverse people, to hear diverse viewpoints, to experience diverse ecosystems, to do things that scare them, challenge them, and to see that they can overcome that and come to new places. So the ocean, when they first came here, was pretty fearful for the girls. Swimming in general was, and now, they just love going to the ocean. They're starting to become little fish, little mermaids. When we go back, we want to try to find a way and a place to settle down, which will be challenging for us because of course, you know, we don't have a lot of fundage in our lives. So to find a place, and I think at this juncture, we want to try to buy a piece of land 
that we can call our own for a long time, really sink our hearts and souls into planting trees and, and rejuvenating an ecosystem and befriending some of the animals. But to balance that with that sense of adventure and still going places, exploring, taking on challenges, taking on new explorations, meeting new people, that's gonna be the challenge before us. But back to essence of place, share with me in the comments, what, what is essence of place for you? What are some of the, the sounds, the sights, the tastes, the textures, even go mystical if you want, like the heart feeling of a place. What is it that really feels like your environment? Is it the mountains? Is it the desert? Is it under the sea? You know, I've found for myself here as I search this land for that essence of place that really calls out to me. I've tried exploring little caves and I've tried exploring different places in the cloud forest and, and under the ocean. When I'm under the water, down in some of these crevasses and in places that I explore, that is where I feel most at home. Still not like I do back in Minnesota or Wisconsin, but that's where I feel most at home. What is it for you? What is your essence of place that it most feels ah, for you? And what are the particulars? If you can pick those out of there a little bit. My whole family sends love. We'll talk with you in the comments.